ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I didn't film it because I wasn't home. We got allegedly about 10 tons of firewood delivered in the Mac. We've been working with the tree guys, as you know, and Brendan had a fresh load of wood he needed dumped. Now this is all oak, a couple pieces of birch. The problem here lies is, as you guys have seen, I usually buck this up and move it a piece by piece with the uh, wood splitter. I mean, with the tractor right up to the wood splitter. However, I got two more loads of this wood coming. I need to move this, so I, I was scrolling, perusing the interweb last night, and I think I found a solution we can do with the Kubota. I don't want to just doze these around because they pick up rocks and dirt, and this stuff is clean. This was cut from a crane grapple saw and put right in the truck. So this wood, it, I don't want to be dragging it around the mud and the dirt. Um, anybody who's cut firewood knows mud, dirt, and rocks aren't exactly good for a saw. So let's just give you a brief overview of what's So we going need to move here. this wood. As you guys saw last video, I want to build a woodshed there and I want to build two woodsheds here. I think I'm going to stage logs over there. I know we plow over there, but it's quite all right. I would rather worry about snow removal than having to move a massive pile of logs. We have two more dump truck loads coming of hardwood. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to retrofit the tractor in a second. That's the main purpose of this video, but we have some split wood here. This wood rack is completely full. We're just about burnt out of this row, so what we'll do is we'll take from this pile, fill this row, and then we'll burn from the other side because those two rows in there are still seasoned, but that's not today's video. We need to move this wood around because we got more coming, so let's go up to the tractor. I think I got an idea. I saw it online. I didn't invent this, um, and I think it'll get us by. It's not, uh, I'd like a grapple, but I can't afford three grand right now, so this is going to work. Just look at that pile. <laughs> we got two more of that. Two more dump truck loads of that coming, so we got to move it and stage it quickly. All right, so I didn't invent this. Like I said, I saw last night. We have this quarter inch angle bracket. I think what I want to do is, is bolt these to the forks, put a little bit of a miter on this. We just need something to be able to get underneath the log and lift it up. We don't have money for a grapple. That would be sweet. I do have bucket forks, but bucket forks suck. If you ever use them, they get twisted. They're gnarly. I need a shallow finger that sticks out to get under the log and flip it back up and hold it against the um, bucket here. So these two pieces are exactly the same. I got them from the scrap bin. They already have some holes pre-drilled, so I don't think we're gonna reinvent the wheel here. I think we're just gonna line these up, drill through, bolt them. We'll put a miter on them and then we'll see if it works. I think it'll be enough just to move around the logs. That's all we need to do is move logs around. Are we gonna have holes in our bucket? Oh well, if we're done in the summertime when we need the bucket for grading, We'll put some bolts and washers in. So let's go get the drill, center punch, and see if we can make something happen here. We have a metal chop saw. We'll put a miter on it at the very end. Uh, but yeah. So let's I get already to work. said this. We have bucket forks, but they suck. I never liked using them. We don't need anything super elaborate. We just need enough. We just need something to work. That's all. We don't need to go crazy. We just need. Oh, that one works out good. Put that right there, put a miter on it. That'll give us, I don't have a tape measure. That'll give us about eight inches of overlay. Put a miter on it. I think that'll work. Worst case, we already have the holes drilled. We can get better angle iron later, but I just need something to move the logs around now or else we're gonna get buried and I don't want that. So let's see if we can fab so this, this up. angle iron already has holes in it. I wanna utilize the bigger holes. We're gonna do that. Yeah, right there. That looks good. Let's try that. Worst case, we can always move the steel out. That'll give us enough room there. So we got our drill. I'll save you the time lapse. Let's see what we uh, let's see what we come up with. I think this will work. If, if those are half inch holes already, how good? No, those are definitely not half inch. Now that I'm looking at it. Yeah, okay, so we got 516 holes already. Let's go ahead and drill through the bucket and then we'll hog it out with the half inch bit. Let's start a little bit, uh, start a little bit smaller. We haven't, having too much firewood isn't a bad problem. I just I can't be moving stuff twice, three times. So let's set you guys up on a little time lapse. Again, folks, I don't need anything fancy. I didn't want anything welded. 
Um, Lord, I will save you another welding video. <laughs> I tell you, oh, I feel bad for the amount of time people spent commenting on the welding videos. It's hilarious. I know I'm not a good welder, but you guys are trying like heck to make me, uh, I thought about it. I'm like, screw it. I could just lay a bead in there. But I was like, no way. I go, let's just do some half inch bolts. Um, in the summer when we need the bucket for grading and mulch in the garden, and all that stuff, we'll just take these off. We'll throw some half inch, one inch bolts in there just to seal off the holes. Matter of fact, we probably don't even need to, really. Uh, we're not filling the bucket with water. And now that we're painfully through there, we have two half inch holes drilled. Let's see. Do I want probably the nut and bolt to be on the outside? Yeah, I would imagine. Yeah, that would make more sense now, wouldn't it? Okay, I think we're onto something. Bought a few extra washers for this reason. Wasn't sure. Oh yeah, I think we'll be good here. Could have got shorter bolts, but you know, listen, I didn't say I was a professional here. Oh yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. So we'll get that one bolted down. Yeah, nice. I like it. Yes, I know. I thought this steel was thicker. I bought too big of a bolt. Probably two inch bolts would have done. I bought two and a half, I think. So that one's in. We just gotta tighten it. Let's do the back. And then I think that'll serve our purpose, folks. Okay, we'll put a miter on this. We can take them off after and put a quick miter on that one side. I think we'll be good. Should be able to move around some walls. Nice part about that. this whole project is we have a nice working area. So how do we want to do this? That's what we want. Can we? Yeah, I'll flip it around. I believe. Because, yeah, those are our holes. We want to cut a 40 foot, yeah, this is what we want right here. 45 degree this way. That's what we want, mate. So this isn't a metal chop saw, but it's got a metal blade on it. So I'm just going to take it easy here and do small cuts. That's why I use the time lapse, but there's no reason to burn out a blade uh, or put these huge burrs on. So let me just nice, take it nice and slow. Okay. That piece out of there. Oh, that looks deadly. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, yes. Oh, that's going to be sweet. Let's bolt it up. Yes, I know. I used a pair of channel locks. Those of you who have bat vision probably saw the channel locks hanging in the background, but so be it. That's all I had kicking around. Again, this is this is professional grade video here, folks. So bear with me. It came out sweet oh, though. Oh yes. Two bolts, gazillion washers. We put a couple washers in between the bucket and the, the fork here. Yes. I love it. Let's bang out the other side and see if we can uh move some. Alright. Fork number one. Fork number two, same thing, equal plates, equal sizes, bunch of washers, bolt. Let's go move some wood. I can't think of it now. What's the saying? Necessity breeds creation or, oh, why am I drawing a blank here? Uh, necessity is the root of all invention. I don't know. I'm not going to look it up. I'm, I'm doing this off the cuff, but yeah, hey, it works. All we need to do, we're not moving the whole dang tree. All we need to do is move these logs out of the way. We need to stage them, we need to deck them, whatever the term is. We got two more loads coming. I wasn't gonna, there was no way on God's green earth, the bucket forks that are four and a half feet long were going to work. This BX does not have enough power to lift up four and a half feet worth of logs. Maybe my dad's Bobcat, but not this thing. This is a BX24 and I, trust me, I, I'm fortunate, I'm blessed to have it. I have wailed on this thing. This thing has done the work of skid steers. <laughs> but hey, it works. Yeah, here's me just testing it out. Um, I was going to use flat stock, but I figured the angle iron would be better. Um, 
here I'm just kind of seeing this is the biggest piece of the whole load this is the piece of birch I don't even know how we got that in the back of the dump truck truthfully um, but that's a nice stick that's gonna make some sweet firewood birch I can make a video on birch itself birch is a beautiful wood I actually hate cutting the trees down because they're so beautiful here in New Hampshire but they are very popular um, but they're actually very well protected believe it or not um, in the state's eyes so yeah needless to say they work folks I'm happy with it. You can kind of poke and prod a little bit. I'm not going to wail on it. I don't want to snap anything. This is just a literally... We're going to probably... I thought of this after the fact. I'm probably going to cut everything to four feet. And I'll make. I'll touch, touch on this in another video. Four feet can give me uh, 16, 32, 48. That can give me three sections for um, stove wood. Or it can give me two sections at 24 inches for boiler wood. So four feet is going to be the number to beat coming up. Well, you saw it first. It works, folks. Some corner angle iron, whatever it's called, bolt through, grade 8 bolts. It's enough to move some logs around. Now, are we trying to move the whole dang tree at once? No, of course not. But we can lift up buck sections into however long. It doesn't have to be perfect. Three quarters of this stuff is going to be boiler wood. We just need to move it around. So I think they work good. Um, that piece of oak was heavy. Uh, I don't want to overlift the capacity of the machine, but... I think uh, a little bit of cutting work. We can stage some logs over there, which is what we're going to do next. I got to dig out some cribbing. So we're going to shoot that probably in the next video. But yeah, hey, it works. I'm happy as a, as a pig. And you know what? I don't need to reinvent the wheel. A grapple's too cheap. A uh, grapple's too expensive. And the bucket forks suck. So this is my alternative. I think we can move around some wood. I mean, that's a 12-inch diameter log. And we, we picked it up and moved it. So... I'm happy. Again, it's a BX24. It's not an excavator. It's not a full-size machine, but it can lift up a small enough log. So anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think. My name is Jay. Another invention I copied off the internet, and I think it works good. So thanks for watching, guys. God bless. In the next video, we're going to be staging some firewood, staging some logs. I don't have time to process it, so we're going to stage it on some 4x4s or 6x6s, whatever, kicking around. And, um... We'll get to it at a later date. So thanks for watching, guys. God bless. Let me know what you think. Like I always say, we will see you guys out in the woods. Oh, yes. These are so cool. I love it. I love it.